What's up guys, Nathan here, and today I wanna to talk about the one poker hand that you must stop going all in with. I'm literally begging you, let's jump right into it. All right guys, so having coached hundreds of students at the lower stakes and mid stakes games in particular, I can tell you that there is one hand that a lot of people get themselves in trouble with by going all in pre-flop specifically and after the flop as well. Today I'm gonna to run you through some example hands. I'm also gonna talk about the math of why this is so bad. So without further ado, let's jump into it. What is the number one hand that you must stop going all in with? That is ace queen. Guys, ace queen is the worst hand to go all in with for multiple reasons. Let's jump into it. Reason number one and by far the most important point is that it is heavily dominated by other players likely range when they want to go all in preflop. And I'm going to talk about the specific player types that that applies to today. Typically, if you're playing in small or mid stakes games, it doesn't matter if it's cash games, tournaments, sit and goes, most players are relatively tight. They're not crazy. They're not wild. While there are some wild players out there, the majority of your opponents are going to be those sort of regular run of the mill players that are watching videos like this who take poker seriously who are trying to win. They're not screwing around guys. Usually when they want to go all in, especially before the flop, they have something, they have a range and a range means their entire spectrum of hands. They have a range of ace, king and jacks plus. Now, what does that mean? It means you are screwed with ace, queen. I'll talk about the math in a second. So for example, an example hand, you raise ace, queen offsuit, offsuit meaning two different suits and a tight player, one of these regular kind of players re-raises you pre-flop. You decide, wow, I'm tired of being pushed around. This player has maybe something's not right. You decide to re-raise and they go all in. Well, what should you be doing in a spot like this? Well, guys, let's talk about the math first. Like I said, tight players typically are not messing around. If you play online poker, often these players are playing four, eight, 10 tables at a time. I used to play 20 tables at a time, guys, online poker. I'm not messing with you out of the blue. I'm not picking on a specific person. I've got 20 other tables going, guys. So guys, tight players are not messing around. Given that range, let's talk about the math. Ace queen versus ace king. You have 24% equity pre-flop. That's, uh, you know, less than one out of four. Not very good. If they have aces, you are completely screwed. You have 7% equity, not even 10%. If they have pocket kings, you have just 28% equity. If they have pocket queens, you have just 30% equity. And the one hand that you are a so-called coin flip against in this range, which is jacks, as you can see on your screen there, is not actually a coin flip. You only have 43% equity. And when I say equity, I mean odds to win the pot if you were to go all in pre-flop with your ace queen versus pocket jacks. So guys, I hope that these cold hard numbers just bring home the reality a little bit to you of why it is such a colossal mistake to go all in pre-flop with a hand like ace queen versus any kind of decent thinking normal opponent at the poker table. So in the situation, the hand that we just discussed, yes, you should fold. You should not go all in. And I should mention in this video, I'm, I'm specifically referring to stack sizes of around 100 big blinds, which is typical in a cash game or the beginnings of a tournament. If you are deep in a tournament where the stacks are, you know, say 20 big blinds effective, 30 big blinds effective, that means that the, uh, the lowest common stack size is 20 or 30 big blinds. Yes, then the math is completely different and you do have to go all in with a hand like this. But typically guys, it is better to just call preflop with ace queen. Ace queen is an excellent hand to just flat a preflop three bat with because we don't want to overplay this hand. So let's run through this example hand again. You know, you raise up ace queen off suit, tight player re-raises you. What should you do instead? Instead of re-raising them back and opening up the door for them to shut on you just call guys just call and go to the flop and play some poker you know if they really do have a really strong hand like pocket kings you know go to the flop see if you can hit an ace if they've got a hand like pocket jacks go to the flop see if you can hit an ace or a queen don't get into this situation where you're just ramming and jamming for no reason knowing that they have a very very strong range and you're just going to be getting the money in bad cap the betting right now just call their pre-flop three bat 
and go see a flop, especially if you're in position. There's no reason to four bet in a spot like this. And by in position, by the way, I'm talking about when you're getting to act last on the flop, turn, and river. By the way, if any of this poker jargon or anything I'm talking about in this video sounds like Greek or Chinese to you, I would highly recommend downloading my free poker cheat sheet. That'll be the top link in the description below. It is a 60 page little free ebook to walk you through my entire strategy to play all 169 hands and crush your opponents in small and mid stakes games. But let's move on here. So let's imagine a flop comes down with a nine of hearts, queen of diamonds and jack of clubs. Once again, you know, tight player bets out into you here. What should you be doing? Well, guys, just call once again. Guys, the exact same logic applies here on the flop. We don't want to overplay our hand. Let's look at this flop here. Pocket aces is still happy. Pocket kings is still happy. Both those hands are way, way ahead of you. Uh, pocket queens and pocket jacks almost have you drawing dead in this situation here. Again, we're just rolling through their entire range here. And ace king has a gut shot to the Broadway straight if a 10 were to come. So guys, there's not a lot of good to come on this board by re-raising here. Once again, the best play if they were to bet on this flop here is just to flat call. Guys, bottom line, do not overplay ace queen. This is one of the biggest hands that amateurs in particular get themselves in problems with. All right, guys, it's getting too hot here. I'm going back to the beach. Do not overplay ace queen anymore. I'm out. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Like and subscribe if it was helpful. I'll catch you next time.